Scientific American, July 1997, a few months after the Phoenix Lights, had a 10-page story about gamma radiation bursts that were seen by the Lasilla Telescope in Chile and the Hubble Telescope on March 13th, 1997. Never mentioned the Phoenix Lights, of course, but that these gamma radiation bursts were so rare and so unique, and here they were on March 13th, and the first imaging seemed like they were 450,000 light years away. 20 minutes later, the images seemed like they were in our solar system. And inside that gamma ray burst was a bright point of light, and inside that bright point of light was a somewhat elongated background object. Man, when I read that, I mean the back of my, the hair on the back of my neck stood up. Same night, some other unusual things happened. Communication satellite knocked out. Gallium arsenide chips instead of silica, so it should not have been knocked out by radiation or anything. Knocked out, destroyed. The MISTI-3 takes pictures of incoming objects. So if we got a gamma ray burst with a somewhat elongated background object and it's heading towards us, we have satellites out there that are taking its pictures and sending it to NORAD or the US Space Command. Then we had what happened in Arizona. And we're not talking Phoenix only, we're talking the entire state of Arizona. From as early as 5.30 p.m. all the way to as late as two o'clock in the morning. It was not one event or two events, but it was many events. It's all a tapestry in a mystery to keep thinking about, try to figure it out.